the chemotherapy and feeling sick all the time. Yeah. Uh, even though there's medication that they prescribe to help with the nausea and vomiting and all that, uh, it did help, but still just, just feeling um, sick all the time. And then just as soon as, you know, because I had to go every three weeks for my chemo treatment. And then by the time I was starting to feel good, it was time to go back again and, and have another treatment. Learn even more things to do to, for my health. It was it was really good. I was excited. I, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed being in that little small group that we were in and watching the other ladies. Because sometimes I felt like I just didn't have the strength to do some of the things. But um, you encouraged me, and then watching the other ladies do it, it's like okay, I can do it. I can do it. <laughs> and just being able to go through and get that motivation from being with that group of ladies, from being with you. There was no pressure to do it, but I wanted to do it. You know? So I wanted to do more and more. And I, I was sad to see it end because I enjoyed it so much. I can't believe this. I went from not having cancer, being congratulated I don't have cancer, to now having a needle stuck in my neck that's like a foot long. Said, then you're gonna have to have chemo, and then you're gonna have to have radiation, and I give you a 60% chance of living. Just like that. So I went from, you know, totally healthy to I could die. How old were you? 58. Get to the point uh, later on. I mean, by now, I mean, I'm bedridden. Um, you, you know, and you, I, I'm on a liquid diet. You can't even talk. So Joe, my wife, got me this bell. And every time I needed something, I'd ring the bell and I'd write something down and she'd go get it. Well, I never saw the bell after the treatment was over. <laughs> so then it was that I learned about the Live Strong program from one of my employees. And she is a, she was, or hopefully is, a cancer survivor. So she said, Hey, with there's this program at the Y, you know, it's free. <laughs> That's all you got to tell a CBA. <laughs> it's free. And it's exercise. And, you know, so I went down, and sure enough, it was this, this great, what, 13 week program? Um, you meet two times a week, and it's free. And, and you could do anything that you wanted to. And during that time, um, they give you a, you know, a family membership, so I was able to get my wife, who who just doesn't believe in exercise at all, um, I was able to convince her to come down and at least join the Y for that period of time. So it was it was a fantastic thing. I mean, it's just a great program. Um, so with the Y membership and or the the Live Strong program and and the Y membership, now I can exercise anytime I want. So I went in for surgery and had a double mastectomy. And um, a couple days later after my borders came, uh, the, the information on my borders came, they were not clear. So I had to go in for a second surgery. So they immediately started me with chemo. And I did uh, four uh, different uh, kinds of chemo. Uh, the regimens took about a year and a half. And then um, I also did uh, 26 to 30 uh, sessions of, um, of uh, radiation, which covered both sides, because I had cancers on both sides. And, um, and then uh, followed with, I had probably eight, maybe 10 more surgeries thereafter for either preventive or reconstructive. Um, I, I found that what I was told was absolutely true, that, that the trainers really were very knowledgeable and um, really worked with you, they listened to you, and if they pushed you, but not beyond your ability to succeed. And, and so you wanted to come back, and you, wanted, you felt good about the progress you made. Um, I, I don't think I ever worked under my ability here with the Y at the Live Strong program. I always think I was pushed up to my ability, but never pushed beyond success.
a point that I felt like I succeeded. So yeah, I did find it to be a very different program and it to be a, a program that for people like me that gone through what I've gone through, uh, a great, awesome program. So much so that um, I've, been per I've been in this uh, support group for many years and every single meeting I bring up the Live Strong program. go outside and here I was, I barely could walk to the bathroom. I remember one day I, would, I made some macaroni and cheese and I was stirring and then just from that I was just so exhausted. I couldn't have a regular conversation and that day when I was making macaroni I, I just went to sleep for the rest of the day. I'm like, this is not supposed to happen like this. You know, be around people that are positive. And that's what you guys provide, and I, that's something that I think needs to be done more for patients because that transition back to normalcy, it's not really there. It's kind of like, oh, find your own way, you're done. Um, I'm kind of, I felt lost, so this was like the perfect way to, to bridge back to health and back to feeling good again. And,